Good afternoon. Uh, pasensya na if I'm a little bit uh, weird feeling. I just had my booster, so I'm feeling like medyo lasing ako ngayon. <laughs> but I wouldn't miss this for the world because of, you know, mental, mental neck. So, here we are. Um, we have seen a thousand alternative films bloom since one very generous mentor, and that is in the form of Nick De Ocampo, who planted the seeds through the 16mm experimental workshops way back in the 90s. So name it, experimental films, documentaries, animation, dance films, political films have, you know, have really enriched our film culture. Like most of us who had attended uh, the workshops, uh, you know, many, many summers ago, like mine was 30 years ago, oh my God. <laughs> so, you know, we bloomed as experimental, as filmmakers, we learned how to operate the Bolex cameras, we learned how to um, edit on a flatbed spin back, we learned how to can down 400 feet of 100 um, rolls of films at the PIA's dark room, remember that? Uh, and of course, we basically fell in love with working with a very small crew, um, and we, we, we learned how to meet our collaborators who are very passionate. You know. So, you know, Nick Leo Campo is a very passionate mentor and he took us under his wings, right? We did our films. Natin. And it also extended that he, after the workshop, he became family. So, it's a testament to that that we have now our kids. We are married to fellow filmmakers. Or I, I married a filmmaker. So, Nick is a very good matchmaker. Um, so, you know, our children, you know, the Reds, uh, you know, and dami. Um, they're now in, in do, doing this uh, beautiful medium of alternative cinema. Um, so, Nick had mentored generations of independent alternative cinema, and I'm proud to be one among those filmmakers who continue to strive to, to make films outside of the commercial industry. And his book, uh, parang Bible natin yun know, the blue book, the blue book, <laughs> uh, which is the short film emergence of a new Philippine cinema, published in 1985. Um, kung sino man ng kopya ko, <laughs> <laughs> it deserves a much-awaited follow-up. So this community of alternative filmmakers have expanded all through the years. So thanks to me for planting the seeds in the 80s. There are now many filmmakers who are active in the alternative cinema practices. This is a very special film community that deserves a remarkable historical record as our narrative remains on the margins. Although much has been written about independent film scene, of course, but the brave works of alternative cinema needs to be celebrated more than ever, lalo na po ngayon. Yeah. As you know, um, alternative cinema is about making film differently, having a mind, a different mindset and philosophy, whereas breaking rules is also about breaking new grounds. So it is interesting to hear and chart the beginnings of alternative cinema in the country. Its roots is pioneers. Some of you are here. Bao, uh, bao na bao sa inyo. And of course, to finally recognize its importance and place in Philippine cinema. So for Nick to write this from his perspective, I can imagine his writings will reveal personal, intimate, and of course, um, historical details of the chronicles history of alternative cinema. So congratulations and belated happy birthday to the one and only Nick Del Campo. You are the mama of many alternative filmmakers working today and I am personally grateful that you have led us to this um, very special, um, I would say, cinematic road that is less traveled. And um, again, here we are, uh, filmmakers, historians, archivists, educators, um, uh, on, 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 on the communities we have. Congratulations and thank you so much.